All right, camper conversion fans, it's time for a full recap. Um, I guess let's start at the outside. Rather than have you go back and watch all the other videos, if you haven't already, this one's going to bring you up to speed on where we are today. So I ordered the trailer from Snapper Trailers. Um, I had them uh, add a foot to the, to the height. It's 16 feet long, 7 feet wide, and 7 feet tall. Normally it would only be 6 foot three I think um, had them install a ramp on the side door for getting bikes in and out in the event that I'm either using the back ramp as a patio as you see it now <clears throat> or if I can't open the back ramp because I'm parked up against something that's blocking the back <clears throat> uh, I ordered uh, proven industries puck locks for all applications where I can use a puck lock so I have bar latches on the ramp and on the RV door and on the back and then I also bought Proven Industries uh, hitch lock uh, which also comes with the same puck lock they're all keyed the same so I don't have to carry one key with me um, I had them enlarge the RV door from 32 inches to 36 inches and I had them install the uh, bar lock oh here's another little upgrade that I did that did not come standard. Uh, one of the upgrades that I had them add was that the bar latch goes over the top of the RV door lock. So just a little added security there. Uh, moving around to the front, I mentioned the lock. New today, uh, I installed windows on the driver's side. I have one up front and on the back. This one will give me uh, ventilation. Um, when the bed is in the down position and this one is available all the time to the back i added uh, d rings recessed d rings that will hold these cables which hold the ramp in the horizontal position there so that i can use it as a patio my intention is to build a screen room for that out of aluminum uh, and screening all right moving inside oh further outside i have a um, wireless uh, backup camera um, on the inside from the back to the front my toy box uh, new today um, is the uh, cabinet doors i built these uh, shaker style doors um, could have gone with one big door for each bay, but then it would have been difficult to get stuff in and out when um, like the bikes are in here or whatever. Uh, the toy box is also now attached to the wall. The walls are all um, permanently affixed. I put a screw every one foot on every, um, on every vertical. So you can see they're nice, smooth um, walls now. Um, the windows that I ordered were uh, inch and three quarter and because I got a great deal on them, A, and B, I couldn't find inch and three eighths. So I cut out another little three eighths inch um, ring to fit around so that I can draw the window tight. It's a clamshell kind of thing where the, uh, the trim ring screws hold the outside top to the outside of the trailer. On this trim ring, I also added a little flourish at the top. My dog's name, Endo. Um, I may, may redo that. I'm definitely going to redo this one. And I may redo it with Endo at the top and then Pete on that one over there or something similar. I like the way that turned out. And my granddaughter noticed it right away and she liked it. Um, so the, kite, the, the toy box is uh, full 8 feet long. It is 24 inches deep. And it is 33 and a half inches tall. Um, should be able to fit anything I want in there. Every, right now, it is all just one big, long, empty space. And I might fill that with um, shelves or bins or something. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to find that it's going to be too easy to lose stuff in there if I don't have it um, divided and um, have some shelves in there. Uh, moving along on this side, I haven't finished, I haven't even started the seating area, but uh, where the fridge is now is where it's going to be. And I'm going to have seating on top of it and seating all the way around the front so to cover up the uh, electrical section. In the electrical, I have three 100 amp hour um, batteries. Um, 
I have a battery charger that I can run off of the um, shore power. Shore power comes in over there. I still don't have that wired yet. And then I have a modulated sine wave 1500 watt uh, inverter there. Um, I may spring for a pure sine wave, um, but I'm not there yet. Uh, the blue box to the right of that is my solar charger. I have um, 350 watts of solar on the roof. Let me give you a shot of that. There's the 350 watts of solar up there. Uh, while we're coming down, I forgot to mention on the outside, I have D-ring here and another D-ring down at that end. And that is for my shade sail. If you're not familiar with the shade sail, it's a really cool thing right here this is a shade sail um it's uh not you know it's water permeable and it's you know w the wind goes right through it it just blocks the sun and it does a really good job of it uh this one is 15 feet by seven feet i think um and it's perfect size um had that on the van and i liked it a lot so i incorporated it on the trailer um where are we Oh, back up here to the electrical. Um, I think I've covered that. I've got a remote for the uh, a remote on-off switch for the inverter. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm going to install that yet, but uh, I'm sure I'll find a good use for it. Um, moving over here, I have the kitchen area, uh, gray water tank directly under the sink. Um, behind that is my water pump. None of this is plumbed yet. Um, that's my project for tomorrow, I think. Uh, tankless water heater there. A um, little bit of storage underneath there. This um, paper towel holder will get um, put up on the wall over here. Um, and then this will just be my, my kitchen utensils and pots and pans and, and so forth. Um, got to build the drawers for that and then got to put the, the cabinet fronts on. I reused the... Um, countertop from the van so this is hdpe or um, cutting board material um, reused the sinks from the van and i also reused my drawer uh, drawer cover I, I still have to to attach still have to cut and attach the drawer part but i reused the system that i had in the van everybody thought that was kind of cool i liked it i stole it from somebody else can't take credit for it um, I have four banks of lights on the ceiling. One, two, three, four. Um, if you were watching the other videos, you would have remembered that uh, I was pissed because I thought I blew the circuit breaker on, or I blew the circuit board on the uh, Max Air fan. Um, turns out I didn't. Uh, I ordered a new circuit board and installed it and when I was hooking that up I noticed that the black wire said power so I had just hooked up the other the other wires incorrectly who uses black for power and white for ground only max air fan as far as I know uh, and I love this fan if you're not familiar with the fan let me turn this all the way up and give you an idea how much how much air the sucker draws out that's that's a lot of air moving um, it is 89 degrees outside and it is 86.7 inside um, moving further the water tank will stay there let me turn this back down or off. Um, the water tank will stay there I'm going to um, close it in you know build uh, uh, an enclosure around it and secure it in place there um, couldn't find a better place for it and it won't be in the way there uh, I have a um, stand-up desk area this is not attached yet and it won't be this it will be a different board or a different table um, it's just the cutoff from the uh, from the old piece but this folds down um, so when it's not in use, I can put the table away. And when it is in use, I will have um, two uh, IKEA bar stools, uh, one on each side of it. Um, and I intend to use that as my work area because I can swing my TV like this and stand over here on, you know, and work at the stand-up desk here. Um, 
What else? So the screen for the uh, ramp area is the uh, magnetic self-closing screen. It does a pretty good job. There's you know a little bit at the bottom there where, where it doesn't close all the way, but I can live with that. And I have the same screen for the front door. I just haven't attached it yet because I wasn't sure what I was going to do with the um, finish on the walls. So I think I'm going to paint the walls, which means I'll wait and put the, uh, the screen on after that. Um, that pretty much brings us up to speed on where we are, where we're going, what the next chores are. I mentioned the plumbing. Um, I have to put the bike mounts in. And what I think I'm going to do is cut out a, um, cut out a square and have it on a hinge so that it flips up and the bikes mount to um, to it that way. That way the, the bike mount isn't always up and in the way and getting kicked and tripped over. So um, when it's not in use, I can flip it under. Um, having the plywood floors on this as opposed to the metal floors that I had in the van opens up a lot of opportunities. Um, that's just one of them. Another one is I could cut a big you know 12 inch long or 12 inch wide and, and long, um, uh, what do I want to call it? Um, cubby hole, I guess. Um, and then have a, you know, a hinged top on that. Uh, I don't think I'll need that, but I have the option. Um, the diesel heater from the van, I am going to install. I'm going to put the diesel tank back here and I'll put the diesel heater at that end. Um, and that way I can fill the tank relatively easily by just dropping the back gate um, and um, and filling it from straight from the uh, from the diesel hose um, what else oh I intend to build uh, cabinets above here um, I don't think I need them but I don't like the blank space here and I think that will help fill things um, oh, you may be wondering where I'm going to sleep. I'm going to have a Murphy bed. Uh, it will be on top of this cabinet. Uh, it's going to be, um, I'm, I'm using the queen size, uh, six inch memory foam mattress from the van, but I'm cutting it down from the full queen size that it was down to 48 inches wide and, uh, leaving it the full 80 inches long. So it will start here and it will go to about here. Um, and it'll, that will leave some space at the end for, for uh, phone and whatever else. When the bed is in the down position, I'll still have this space available for, for whatever. Uh, I will probably use this end of the bed as the head end of the bed. Um, that way when I'm, uh, when I'm camping uh, in the Outer Banks, uh, I can have my head right here. And then when I wake up in the morning, I'll look out the door and see the Pamlico sound not this mess um i bought um led lights for the uh sides on both sides um i won't install those until i've figured out what i'm going to do with the uh with the walls and uh, when i do install those i will do a um basically a wire chase kind of thing it'll I'll have um, a board that comes down and another board that goes against that wall so it'll be a, you know completely closed in hiding the wires that are up there and hiding the led lights um, i have some plexiglass that i intend to cut down and use for the horizontal portion of that um, l-shaped enclosure um, eventually i would like to get a 30 or 45 inch uh, window put in there um, couldn't find one it doesn't seem important at this point in time uh, eventually I will um, I'll put some kind of a window over there and it will be bigger than the uh, 14 by 16 that I have on this side and the fact that I went with 14 by 16 um, means it'll be easy to upgrade those later I can um, expand them not just width wise but height wise too um, oh couple other things I put a d-ring here and I have this eye hook here for the this one's for the uh, strap for the for the patio um, cable um, but I can string a hammock 
on that and uh, and chill out in my hammock if I'd like. Um, cabinet closures. So one of the, one of the cool things about um, this being a trailer and not being a, a van is that I don't really care if stuff rattles in here. So um, if these, if these cabinet doors make a lot of noise while I'm driving the truck. I'll never hear it. So um, not a real concern. What is a concern though is that these might come flying open and and dispatch the contents of the cabinet onto the floor and I wouldn't like that. So I do intend to put some kind of a latch, probably one of those uh, twist latch things that draws the, the cabinet doors closer together. Um, and I can see that I'm out of battery, so I'm gonna close this off.